Okay, in this video we're going to create the necessary image styles and make them responsive at our pre-configured breakpoints. So first we're going to configure the responsive images in styles module. So we'll go to configuration, media, responsive images, add. And I'm going to set my breakpoints to correspond with Corolla's default breakpoints, but you can choose whatever you want. So I'm actually going to open the appearances tab in a new window and click settings for the Corolla theme. And here you'll notice that we have three tabs for layout, standard, tablet, and smartphone. And inside the tablet tab, we have landscape tablet and portrait tablet. And inside the smartphone layout, we also have landscape smartphone and portrait smartphone. So we actually have five different layouts that come pre-configured with the Corolla theme. And this means that in order to serve each layout, we'll need to set up five different responsive image styles. So I'll go back to standard and back on our image styles tab, uh, first I'm gonna set up the standard layout. So we'll just call this standard. Label will be standard. Suffix is gonna be underscore standard, lowercase. And the width, this is what we're gonna get from our Corolla settings. The minimum width is 1025. And I'll save that. Now I'll set up the tablet landscape layout. Just add tablet landscape. The suffix is going to be underscore tab land. And the width get from our Corolla settings again. Landscape. Now make sure you choose the minimum width, not the max width. So this will be 769. And save. Now I'll do the same thing with tablet portrait. Call it tab port. And the width is 481. Now I'll do smartphone landscape. Do underscore smart land. And the smartphone landscape layout breaks at 321. And smartphone portrait. Do smart port. And now this one's going to be a little different because this says max width 320. It doesn't have a min width. So anything below this will use this layout. Responsive Images and Styles wants to know the minimum width and will apply it to anything above that width until another preset is found. So there's a slight difference in how we configure the two settings for this one. So I'm actually going to set this as zero and it's going to be the smallest one. So the smallest windows will use this image style. And you'll also notice that at the bottom of this, it says that if the window width is smaller than any of the defined suffix widths, the default will be used. Well, we've pretty well taken care of that since we set this one to a width of zero, but we do need to set a default suffix along with a couple of other settings. So I'll save this and then I'll click settings in the top right corner. Our default suffix is going to be underscore smart port. You'll want this to be your smallest style. So if you're setting this up to work with another theme or you're using different um, naming conventions, just make sure that you set this to your smallest responsive image style. And then the only thing that I'm going to change here is the force resize. I'm going to change that to yes. This will help prevent horizontal scrolling on a desktop browser or anywhere a user is able to resize uh, their browser window. If this is set to no, whatever image style is rendered when the page loads will stay there even when the window is resized. So this might mean you get some horizontal scrolling or overlapping of images, etc. So I recommend setting it to yes. But that's all I'm going to change, so I'll just save configuration. Okay, so now we need to create the image styles for each responsive style. In part three, I'm going to be putting these images in the first sidebar. So I'm going to go ahead and size them appropriately for that. So I'll go to configuration, media, image styles. And here you could create responsive styles for thumbnail, medium, and large, which I would recommend. But for now, I'm going to create a completely new image style just for our featured content. So I'll click add style. 
I'll call this featured content standard. And so because I'm using the suffix underscore standard and we set up a responsive style based on the suffix underscore standard, the responsive images and styles module will know to kick in and do its thing. So I'll hit create new style. We'll add the effect scale. And we need to know what width our sidebar is gonna be. So to get the appropriate width, I'm gonna go back to the Corolla settings tab. And for the standard layout, take the minimum width, which is 1025, times the first sidebar percentage. So I'll take 1025 times 0.2. That means that our left sidebar, our first sidebar is gonna be 205 pixels. I'll just round down for now and make this image 200 pixels wide. You can allow upscaling if you want. So now I'll go back to image styles and add another style. This one's going to be featured content tab land, tablet landscape. Same thing, I'm going to tell it to scale. Now let's find our new width. Our minimum width is 769 pixels and our sidebar is 20%. So we'll do 769 times 0 0.2, 153, I'll round down to 150. You'll Once you do this, you'll actually want to test the image styles and see how they look. Um, it may or may not be the right size for you. Just make sure that you play with them and, and test the image sizes. Go back and create another one. Now the tablet portrait mode is gonna be a little different. You'd think it'd be smaller than those, but this one's actually gonna be larger and I'll show you why. In our tablet portrait mode, our sidebars actually drop below the content section and they take up 50% of the width. So we actually need to take our minimum width, which is 481 and times that by 0.5. So this one's gonna be 240 pixels wide, which is larger than even our uh, standard computer size. And we've got two more. Featured content smart land. Smart front landscape is going to be 321 divided by 50 or times 0 0.5. So 160 pixels. And our last one is going to be featured content smart port. Okay, and for the smartphone portrait, this one actually only has a max width of 320. So I'm just gonna make this image slightly smaller than the window size, because uh, the devices that'll be viewing this layout are generally gonna be smartphones that can't change their window size. So we really want this to pretty much fill the window. And again, you wanna play with these to make sure uh, it works the best for your site. But I'm just gonna go ahead and make it 310. And just as a note, now that you know how you set these up using the uh, image style and an underscore uh, trigger, I guess you'd call it, you could create thumbnail underscore smartland and thumbnail underscore smartport, etc. And, and if you do that, just make sure that you set the display mode to thumbnail underscore smartport instead of just thumbnail to trigger the responsive images and styles module. Okay, and the very last thing we want to do before we start adding content 
is set the default display format to featured content smart port for our featured content content type. So we'll go to structure, content types, featured content, manage display. And for our featured image, instead of original image, we're gonna have it show featured content smart port. And that's it. So in the next video, we'll start creating some featured content and we'll also set up a slideshow to cycle through our images and at the same time respond to the window size.